Hi guys, I'm Jason Specht with Mountain State Overland, and you are watching Waypoint Overland TV. Alrighty, Phil from Waypoint Overland. Thanks for coming by and seeing me. This is fun, this is exciting. We are at the Overland Expo East, and this is my stand. And uh, we're a manufacturer, we make American made goods, and uh, our sexy product is the Scottle, which uh, we, is our cooking device. It's a South African uh, cooking device, and we've introduced to the United States. And uh, we've been uh, showing it off for about five years now, and uh, we're very, very popular. This is the Scottle Grill Kit. Uh, the, uh, the pan, Scottle actually means shallow dish in Afrikaans. And uh, so you can see it's like a, a shallow wok. Um, this is our standard size Scottle, which has standard legs, about 29 inches, and it comes with a, a burner. And over here is the carry bag. Uh, this here I'm holding is a steam tray and a lid that absolutely multiplies what you can cook on the scottle. Once you put the lid on, you now have an improvised oven. Uh, you can cook popcorn, you can make cookies, you can uh, uh, do uh, spring rolls or, or uh, sweet rolls. And uh, we, we've steamed vegetables, we've steamed uh, uh, sausages, we've even smoked meat on this. So you put wood chips underneath. So very, very versatile. And then right over here is our camp table. This is something else that a lot of people don't know that we make. It's a bamboo top, a steel frame, and uses the same legs as the scottle. And uh, very strong. We've got hooks and hoops. It means that if you get more than one table, you can actually attach them to the table and make a, make a much larger table. And uh, these also come in a carry bag. You can see one right here uh, on, our, on the tailgate. Some of our other items that we make are refrigerator slides. Uh, and we've got them on display as well. And uh, a lot of people come to the stand and go, oh, I didn't know you made fridge slides. And uh, we've been making them since 2010. They're right here. And uh, the, uh, let me show you what we've got. We've got six different configurations in three different fridge slides. This is a standard. Uh, this would uh, sort out a fridge that's 35 liter to about 52 liter. This will be the new mid-size fridges, which is uh, 55 to 60, and then the jumbos. The jumbo fridges you can just about live in. Um, these are 60 liter all the way up to 90 liters. And then we have the sideways uh, configuration. These pull out sideways, these pull out uh, forward. And, uh, and then we have our fridge slaps, fridge uh, straps so that you can tie the fridges down. And uh, so that's, uh, that's what we have here. And uh, I, I appreciate uh, Waypoint Overland coming in and talking with us. Thanks very much. My name is Eddie with Team 4Runner. This is the Firestone Adventures Firestone Tires build that we did for them. And uh, this is a walk around on Waypoint Overland TV. So this is the Firestone Adventures build for Firestone Tires. We use this to go to every state, clean up trails uh, with an event that we call the T4R Experience. And Firestone Tires is the presenting sponsor of that. So they've been supporting us. We've done seven states. This vehicle has gone to more than that. Um, in just a few years, you know, it's got well over 80,000 miles already on it. And all of it is on their tires. And so uh, the first thing you'll notice is a rear bumper from C4 Fabrication. This is a single swing out. They have a dual swing out option. Um, we slapped some Element LED flush mount lights into the rear bumper. Those are wired on a switch so we could turn those on. And then uh, in the back, a Dometic CFX fridge. It's got the Wi-Fi. It could be a freezer. It could be a fridge. Um, underneath, we have CBI skids um, pretty much all throughout. On top, you're looking at a Tapui high box. And uh, basically, it's a hardtop tent that pops straight up with struts. So in the front, we're running a CBI front bumper. Uh, this also has element LED uh, lights on it. You can see the ditch brackets. They bolt onto the hood, and it opens with the hood. 
That's a uh, Dobinson snorkel, and uh, Dobinson is in the booth next to us over here. It's an Australian-based company. Um, I believe that's the first of its kind for Forerunners of this year. And then uh, Front Runner roof rack on top. Uh, we love Front Runner. They have a ton of uh, aftermarket add-ons that you can do on the racks, so it really helps us with what we do. Um, Firestone MT2 tires, of course, on it. Uh, this is our second set. We put about, four, four, I would say, 46,000 on the first set. Um, and we've already put about 20,000 on this set. It's got FN wheels, um, and that basically looks exactly like a TOD Pro wheel, but gives you the right width that you need for bigger tires. Um, let's see, Front Range Auto out of Denver. They did the wrap, we designed it. So basically it's a satin black, and then we did red stripes on the side, and then we put the Firestone F on top of that, and they did an unbelievable job with it. Um, it's really held up well. We've gone through a ton of trails and scratched it up, and. Uh, it shows some of the scratches now, but it's never peeled off or had any issues. So we're really happy with that. Uh, some of the work that we couldn't handle for time constraints or from a technicality standpoint, we did at True Automotive. Uh, for instance, gears. It's got uh, gears from nitro gears and axles. And those are 488s. We just had those installed. And so True Automotive is based out of Denver as well. And they did a great job. Um, it's also got a worn Xeon winch, 10,000 pounds. Uh, we've used that several times. So. Uh, Max tracks on the side, C4 fabrication sliders out of South Dakota. Um, it's got dual batteries from Genesis Off-Road and uh, they make a really nice dual battery kit that just lasts forever. I mean, it keeps our fridges running and we do a lot of media work so it keeps all our drones and all our batteries charging and all the laptops and everything we have plugged in when we're on road trips. And uh, yeah, this rig has helped us clean trails in seven states and counting. The plan with T4 Experience is to go to every state once and show people what every state has to offer along the way. So you can follow us on uh, YouTube, T4 Experience, and you can follow obviously Firestone Tires. This rig is Firestone Adventures, and you can follow what it does. And we're going to be doing a couple builds probably with Firestone, so you can see some of our other builds as we uh, modify those and bring them into the lineup. And us, you can follow us at Team Forerunner on Instagram. We sell t-shirts, we kind of uh, build a forerunner community, and uh, we try to power that community to do socially responsible stuff and um, kind of build Toyota fans nationwide and internationally. So you're watching Waypoint Overland TV, and we'll catch you next time. Hi, uh, Jason from Endeavor Hardware Supply. Coming to you live, I think live, but maybe not live, from uh, Overland Expo East in, uh, where are we, Virginia, Virginia. So come and talk about our Endeavor 10 stakes. So you've seen uh, 10 stakes, they're crappy, used, bent, lost, still buried in the ground somewhere. So we wanted to do our own 10 stake and uh, we wanted to do it better. So uh, we designed the Endeavor stake, which is a, a laser cut out of uh, aluminum 6061 T6. We anodized them in beautiful colors even have a rainbow pack for you so you know these are the last 10 stakes you're ever going to buy. They're made so that you have different features on the ends so you can do paracord and hooks and loops um, any different way that you want to anchor your tent or your awning or your your uh, hammock uh, these have the features for you so uh, all the different colors they have the the paracord cinching feature here so you can wrap your paracord around cinch it right here and then the hooks and the loops so that you can do a carabiner and your rope and tie. And then all the different colors, all uh, manufactured in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm John Mabes with Northeast Off-Road Adventure. We're an off-road training school out of Ellenville, New York. Uh, we offer basic and beginning driving training, uh, advanced trail riding, and vehicle recovery. We also have full classes of just vehicle recovery, doing winching and high lift jack, max tracks, how to get your vehicle unstuck when you're in that situation. We also offer different types of private trainings and custom events for whatever you need. Uh, we also host events at Hunter Mountain Ski Resort. It's a great time off-roading, get to see the sights, great views from the summit of the mountain. Uh, we also offer overlanding trips between our school and other locations. And we're available to, to do what you need. We're solutionists, so anything you want to do, we can make it happen. Uh, check out our website at nyoffroaddriving.com and we hope to see you out on the trails. Thank you.
Hi guys, I'm Jason Specht with Mountain State Overland, and you are watching Waypoint Overland TV. Mountain State Overland is an adventure travel video series on YouTube and an overland guide service um, in the Appalachian Mountains. Um, over the last six years, we've documented travels um, as far south as northern Georgia, North Carolina, um, South Carolina, to as far north as New Brunswick. Um, and our mission has been to exploit, explore, and encourage people to adventure in the Appalachian Mountain Range because there's some great opportunities here. I don't think a lot of people know how to get there and how to do it. And you know, we've been um, creating those opportunities and influencing people to stay here. <laughs> And, uh, and discover the resources that are available to them. I mean, this event's gotten very large here at Overland Expo. We're in Arrington, Virginia. It's only two hours away from us. We are in Greenbrier County, West Virginia. And it's pretty awesome to see all these people gathering for, you know, an adventure event like this. Um, so, you know, that's kind of been our sole purpose. In every production mile, video production mile that we travel, we. Um, donate money and funds to Trees for the Future um, that plant trees in, um, in communities in Africa and create opportunities for people to grow produce or um, shade livestock um, in areas that just don't have trees and it's really creating unique opportunities for these people in Africa to make money because what was important for us was not to donate to some you know national uh, non-profit here that only Americans benefit we were thinking kind of globally because in America we got it pretty good right so we tried to identify with a natural resource one that we could help out with in exchange for all of the miles that we're driving and covering um, because we live responsible lifestyles and we wanted to give back and you know, we identify trees for the future, and they were willing to take a chance with us. So, to date, we planted um, through donations. To date, we've planted like 16 to 17,000 trees um, in Africa with trees for the future. So, again, it's it's been it's been a fun fun six years exploring, and now we're taking people on guided trips too. So, um, Thanksgiving here in 2019, we'll be releasing our trip dates uh, for 2020 and. We'd like to have you join us. It's a great opportunity to get out and learn about overlanding, whether you're new or just a great opportunity to get out and meet people that like to do what you do because you already overland or you're an adventure traveler. Um, but it's a great way to learn more about some of these resources we have here on the East Coast for you to explore. Um, specific to our guided trips, uh, what you experience is um, catered meals, um, you know, a level of professionalism, but a higher level of fun. Um, we like to have a good time. You know, we break the ice at the beginning of the trip with a big overland potluck, and uh, people bring in their favorite foods, and we celebrate over food just like you do at Thanksgiving, right? That's some of the best memories that most of you probably have. But well, we're creating those opportunities and doing that um, when we kick off these events um, and these guided trips. And from there, um, Everybody goes to bed, we wake up in the morning and we're on the trail all day long or we're on gravel roads all day long and we're seeing areas of West Virginia or Virginia that are just fantastic, you know? And um, again, we cook for them again at night, but these people are experiencing one terrain that they've never seen before, but um, they're also experiencing what a video production feels like, you know? So what it takes actually to film, to film a trip as you're, you know, driving along and we manage, we manage it. Um, keep it pretty low impact so people know what it feels like but it's not ruining their experience um, but it's a very intimate adventure weekend it's a three-day adventure and we limit it to five vehicles because um, any more than five is it's, it's too hard to manage the emotional connection that people can have right so um, much more than that people start to single out and form in their own groups um, it's hard to track safely how many vehicles are with you and that you're tracking um, and you're just introducing harder, harder, uh, harder opportunities to actually find camping locations that can accommodate much more than five guest vehicles and two guide vehicles. So the guided trips are pretty exciting, um, and they've been pretty successful. We've done eight of them over the last two years. 
and we're to the point where they're selling out in like 24 hours or less. So, um, do we want to do it full time? No, because I want to full time with my family. I want to full time with my friends. I want to meet these people, but um, I want to continue to enjoy what we do and making it a full time job kind of scares me a little bit because I don't want to burn myself out because right now I really love doing this stuff. And, um, and I want to teach people, I want to educate people, and I want to get people excited about adventure. So we don't have really any minimum requirements other than one, you have a vehicle, you're 25 years or older, um, and that that vehicle has four wheel drive. Um, typically where, where we're putting people on these guided trips are our team, you have gravel road travel, dirt road travel. Um, usually every trip has a section of four wheel drive that we can work with you on. So we've had a ton of stock vehicles. We've had completely tricked out vehicles on some of these trips, but all we ask is four wheel drive or you know, potentially even all wheel drive. You know, we've had, haven't had a Subaru yet, but I'm, that's gonna be happening, you know? Um, and that's all we require. It's just four wheel drive, an able body that can do it. And, you know, we'll take care of the medical stuff that needs to happen and allergies, dietary restrictions and all that. We're open to all that stuff. So, To get on a trip with Mountain State Overland, um, we ask people to sign up on our mailing list on our website. Um, those people that are on that mailing list will be the first to get um, email dates for our guided trips which we'll be releasing over the Thanksgiving holiday. Um, if you're not on the email list within 24 hours, if there's anything left available, we'll be posting on social media um, where people can come in and, you know, on Instagram, you can follow us at MS Overland. Um, on Facebook, it's the same, MS Overland, Mountain State Overland. Um, you can find all those links directly from our website as well, um, including links to our YouTube page. So, um, yeah, that's, that's how it works. And um, you put in a deposit and take it from there. What's happening guys, it's Sir William. We're on Waypoint Overland TV and here's my rig walk around. All right, so we're gonna to move to the back of Apple and the reason is is because, well, quite simply, I'm running mostly stock. I have found that mostly stock works out the best. They've spent millions and millions and millions of dollars in research and development to find just how these things go. So I try to keep it stock. <clears throat> One thing that I did was I removed the back seat. One thing I did was I removed the back seats and I put a straight platform back here with some bed liner. Then I have a four inch memory foam. Right over here to the left, you see my box. That is my kitchen. So everything that I need to cook is right there. Everything that I need to sleep is right here. And then I got the Iceco VL60 dual zone fridge right behind the driver's seat. It's a perfect setup. It's hassle free and that's the number one thing. Ultimately, if it's too much of a hassle, you're not gonna use it. If you don't use it, you're not gonna have fun. And if you don't have fun, you're not gonna get out and go. So keep it as simple as possible, which is what I did. All right, so as you can see, like I said, keeping it stock as possible, I'd have this stock size 265, 70, 17s, BFG all-terrains, and these all-terrains, I'll be honest with you, I was pretty impressed with them. They've lasted, this is 60,000 miles, and uh, Redneck Me says that I could probably go another 15,000 on them. As you can see, the right side, I don't have as good a vision on. I'm definitely in need of some sliders. After 80,000 miles of hard abuse on Apple, she's definitely taken uh, a few beats and bruises. But uh, yeah, for the most part, man, it's completely stock. I did upgrade the suspension. The suspension is a TRD Pro suspension. This is the Bilstein setup before they went to the Fox setup. Uh, I don't know what series those are. There's no reservoir in the front. It's just straight coilovers. But in the back here, there are some reservoirs uh, to help with the extra dampening and cooling. Well, that's it. That's Apple in all of her glory. All right, so moving over here on the action side, right behind my seat, you can see I have an Iceco VL60. I did this for two reasons. One, behind my seat takes up the uh, most amount of room because I need the leg space. On the passenger side, I can move that seat up a little bit further. That gives me leg space for when I'm sleeping behind it. The VL60 or any dual, or the VL60 or refrigerator, any kind of refrigerator at all is the number one luxury upgrade I would make to any overlanding rig. 
Next, I got the uh, Yakima, just a standard, like, off-brand version of the Yakima Road Warrior basket up there. And then I've got the Spring Bar Auto Fly. The Spring Bar Auto Fly is really cool. One of the primary reasons that I like it so much is the fact that I can actually hook it up to either side. And if you're good with tents and you know what you're doing, you could put this down right here and make this some kind of an A-frame tent. And I don't know how to do that. So if you know how to, leave a comment down in the comments. All right, last and certainly not least, anytime you put your rig into four-wheel drive, you must have recovery gear on you. I always carry a snatch strap, and I always carry traction boards. You can get some good traction boards out there. There's all kinds of different brands out there. Same with these straps. Make sure that you get the right kind of strap. There's a toe strap, and then there's a snatch strap. If you get a snatch strap, it's for snatching. It has some resistance built into the rope. You'll have to look it up, but a toe strap is not what you want to yank yourself up out of a hole with. All right, and on a serious note, guys, it's very, very, very important that you pack out what you packed in. No matter what you brought into the campsite, make sure that you bring it out. And I have the Trasheroo 2.0 in order to handle that. And quite honestly, it's the easiest mod I've done. It's the cheapest mod I've done. And it's definitely the most effective mod I've done. All you got to do, throw your beer cans in there when you're done. Toss it in there. Put it in the trash can on your way out. You're done. My name is Eddie with Team RAV4. We built a rig for Firestone Tires, and you're watching Waypoint Overland TV. This is a 2019 RAV4 Adventure. Um, we at Team RAV4 built it for Firestone Tires to demo some of their new products and uh, to build kind of a RAV4 community. We're going to be hosting some events in the future. And uh, so I just kind of want to do a walk around of the build. Um, so far, it's in its basic form. As more products come out and as time goes on, we'll do more with it but uh, if you want to look right now we've got some ditch bracket lights uh, basically the lights on there right now are element eggs and they're a nice small uh, LED light um, the ditch brackets bolt to the hood and it's nice and subtle it gives us a little perimeter lighting um, come down here to the fogs those are amber cannons and white cannons also from element LED and the product is an LP adventure kind of a skid bumper combo that lets you mount the lights to it. Um, LP Adventure also made the lift that's on this and they make the rims. And typically they're kind of a Subaru company, but when this new RAV4 came out, they launched a bunch of products. And uh, this RAV4 is probably one of the first RAV4s that had any of their products. So you're looking at about an inch and a half of lift um, and that gives us the room for the skid and uh, some room for some lights and a slightly bigger tire. And this is the Firestone Destination AT2. On top you have Yakima crossbars with a Yakima tent and a uh, Yakima awning. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good setup. Folds up nice, two and a half inch foam mattress inside. Uh, just like a lot of additional you know, rooftop tents that are out there. Um, if we swing around the back, there's a uh, tire swing called a rigged ultra swing. And we can take a walk back there. This is probably the one thing we get the most questions about on the RAV. Um, it's basically a hitch mounted uh, swing gate, so you don't have to replace your full bumper and add all that weight. Plus, right now for RAV4s, that doesn't exist. So this product is pretty much an all-in-one solution to get your tire out from under. Gives you a little bit more clearance. Lets you put your bigger tire on the back. As you can see, it has a fold-out table, slide-out table so that you can cook and uh, do some of your camping stuff, kind of use it as a staging area. Um, inside we have a Dometic fridge, that's uh, I believe a 30 or 28, uh, and so what that is is basically a fridge or a freezer combo. Um, you can talk to Dometic about what that does. It plugs into your 12 volt source, it's better than a cooler, um, keeps everything cold without having to deal with ice. And everything inside right now is pretty much stock. Um, it comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and um, all the perks of a RAV4 Adventure Edition. Um, and that's pretty much what we've done to it so far. And uh, some of the other mods we did that doesn't come normal on a RAV4 adventure, uh, we wrapped the hood with a, a really nice wrap from Front Range Auto. It's kind of like a satin black, so it's got a little bit of sheen to it, but it's not as dull as a matte. We also did the roof all the way to the back and the rear visor, um, and that's really cool. And then as well, we went to uh, True Automotive, who helped us a lot in Denver, Colorado to do some of these modifications, make sure everything fits, and help us install some of this stuff. Um, so if you have a RAV4 and you're in the Dem Denver area, you know, take a look at True. Um, other than that, this is our first Team RAV4 build.